Hey gang, Learn Easy Guitar Tunes here. I had a request the other day for more Dwight Yoakam. Seems like everybody loves some good old Dwight Yoakam and they wanted Fast As You and they said, put it up as fast as possible. So here it is for you, stick around for a second. Fast As You by Dwight Yoakam. All right, so let's just jump into the chords we're gonna do here today. And I'm gonna show you two different ways. Obviously the song has a major lick that you go through, but I'm gonna show you if you're a beginning guitar player, how you can just strum the song. So let's just go ahead and tell you what the chords are. So the first chord is going to be an E. You're gonna need an A. You're gonna need a B7. And you're going to need an F sharp. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the lick and then we're gonna simplify it back down. So the lick itself is based around the E, but it's also going to be 12 bar blues. If you saw a previous lesson, you can see that this is really based around that, that structure. So you're gonna have your first finger on the fifth string, second fret, and you're just gonna hit those two strings. Then you're going to have your ring finger hit on the third fret of the sixth string, and then you're gonna have your ring finger hit on the fourth fret of the sixth string. So it's gonna go like this. Then you're going to have your pinky on the fifth fret of the fifth string and you're going to hit it twice, once on and once off. And it's going to hit with your index finger down here on the second string of the fifth fret. So that's going to be. Then you're going to repeat the same thing, but you're going to do it with your ring finger on the fourth fret of the fifth string. So all together real slow. good exercise. Then he's also going to drop down to an A, which is going to be the fifth open and second fret of the fourth string. So just those two strings and you're going to do the exact same thing, but you're going to do it on the fifth string going. So everything just moved down one string. So we don't need to go through that lick again because you're already taught it on the one and it's the exact same thing when you move your index finger down to the next string. Okay, so let's go through that lick and after we go through the lick completely, we'll go back to showing you how to do it when you can strum and we'll go through that pattern. So it goes like this. There, you're going to go into a that's an F sharp major A all right so now that we've done that let's uh, talk about this strum pattern so it's just going to be It's a back and forth with an accent on one. So we're going to play through a little bit of this and show you how it goes, but we're going to do it with just the chords. And if you are an advanced player, you can sit there and you can do the lick and follow along with us. So let's just assume we're at the intro. Maybe someday I'll be strong. Maybe it won't be long. I'll be the one who's tough. You'll be the one who's got it rough. Going to the F sharp major. Maybe it won't be long, and maybe I'll be real strong. From there, they're going to do one more verse, and then he's going to go into. I don't know if this would necessarily be called a chorus or what, because he only says fast as you maybe in the verses. But it goes like this You're going to need an A. And then an E, an A, 
and then a B7. So it's going to go like this. So if you are doing the advanced lesson, there's no lick there, then you're going to come and join us with open chords. So if you're the advanced player doing the lick, anytime it goes to the F sharp major or the A or the B7, you'll be joining us on strums and then you'll go back to your lick. From there, we're going to go ahead and sing a little bit and show you exactly what that is. You control me, oh. Some people are going to chime in and say, when you're on that B7, you can go A to a G sharp to an F sharp, and it would sound like this. But we're going to keep it simplified today. If you're the advanced player, you can do that. If not, you can just go ahead and play that B7 and stay on it and then go back to the E. From that point, he's going to go back into a, another verse and then another chorus. And then it's going to be, maybe I'll be fast as you, maybe I'll break hearts too. So another verse, and then it'll go into the instrumental where it's just the da-da, 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 da-da. And there'll be a solo there. From there, it just goes on out. Maybe, maybe I'll be strong, maybe it won't be long, and it just ends. So it's pretty much the same thing over and over. Once you get the chords down and the patterns, it's not that terribly bad. If you want to work on that lick, just take it slow. Some are going to say, ouch, that's a stretch. But it doesn't matter how small your hands are, your hands will adapt to whatever the guitar is. And most people say, well, I have to get a smaller guitar. You don't. You don't have to have large hands to play guitar. It's just, you know how you have muscle memory? You also have finger memory. So you can stretch. You just have to keep on doing it. And eventually, it will come down. And that's the complete lesson. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that lesson, and I hope you're watching the videos, commenting, liking, and subscribing. This is a great community to be able to learn new songs, and you guys control the content. So tell me what you'd like me to play. Keep on picking.